Yeah, and Jim and Jackie, I just spoke with one of the owners of this streetery who said that people were outside eating dinner when this happened. He says it started when the U-Haul rolled up and one of the drivers or one of the people in the vehicle, the driver being that person, leaned out and grabbed the purse off of one of the tables. And it ended a couple of miles away with that U-Haul finally being stopped by police. People on the 200 block of North Birch Street started recording after a U-Haul came barreling through the tight street, hitting cars before coming to a stop. Thanks God the cops came fast and get him out. He didn't want it to stop. He wanted to keep going. It was the end of a pursuit that started a little before 645 when police and witnesses say the driver of the U-Haul crashed into this outdoor dining setup at the International Bar on Front and Cecil B. Moore, filled with diners at the time. They were having some dinner and relaxing and then, you know, it uh, just happened. Paul Kimport was upstairs when he heard a loud bang and rushed outside. The vehicle came to actually uh, steal a purse and then lost control of his vehicle and drove into the last table of the streetery and, uh, and then backed out and sped off. Philadelphia police say the U-Haul driver circled the block before stealing the purse, then hit two people, including a motorcyclist that Paul said tried to stop the U-Haul. Couldn't believe, you know, it was so close, but, um, you know, Thank goodness uh, nobody was really seriously hurt. Police say the two victims were injured, but they're not life-threatening. The U-Haul was tracked with a police helicopter finally stopping on Birch. Police say he tried to back up and hit a police car before trying to hit officers. He was finally arrested after police used a taser. He wasn't considering that could be kids. He didn't care. That's my opinion. He didn't care. And here's that video again uh, that this neighbor shot after the crash of that U-Haul driving through the streets here. Uh, she told me that she thought she was watching people die. That's how horrific it was. And so police say this all started because of that stolen purse. The passenger of that U-Haul was arrested as well. Here you see all the damage here to this streetery. The owner says that he's got some cleaning up to do, but plans to reopen tomorrow. Live in Kensington, I'm Matt Delusha, NBC 10 News. Very scary night out there, Matt. Thank you.